Okay, guys. It is the 21st, 5 a.m. approximately, and it is our first day of travel. Let me just let you know what we're dealing with here. It's uh, about 30 below zero with the whoops. <laughs> it's about 30 below zero with the wind chill factor here in Vermont, and we just got approximately two feet of snow. So let me show you that. Ready for this? I don't know if you all can see it very well, but it's so dark out still here, but there's a ton of snow. I mean, the driveway's plowed, but there's a ton of snow. It's cold. Let's go. Hey guys, at my first stop, my first supercharger stop, and let me just check here. I believe we're at Queensbury, New York, supercharger at the local mall here. <clears throat> and just, just so you're aware, I left the house with about 300 miles of range, drove 122 miles, and had about 80, 88 miles or so left when I, when I got to the charger, uh, so I've lost about 33%. Of range just because of the cold and I, I mean bitter cold um, very bitter cold as I said this morning it was about 30 below zero with the wind chill and the whole ride here it's been negative five or negative eight depending on where we've been so so far so good had, had this is not a supercharger I was gonna have to stop at but because of the diminished range due to the cold I'm here I think this trip may take a little bit longer than I anticipated but I'm getting pretty decent charge rates right now. Let's take a look at those. I was at about 300, 299 miles per hour at one point. We're charging up. We're just gonna be here 30 minutes and then uh, we're heading out to the next supercharger. I believe that supercharger is gonna be in Utica, New York. So Hi we'll folks. Just did my second stop at Utica, New York. Oh, and it's still negative 25 below with the wind chill and it is very windy here. Lost a ton of range, obviously with the cold, but also with the amount of uh, wind. I was driving pretty much head into the wind the whole time and that really, really slowed things down. But uh, we're continuing on. Keep on keeping on. Hello my friends, it's me again. Third stop today in Victor slash Rochester, New York, and it is a balmy negative eight outside. And gotta be honest, it actually does feel a little warm considering it was negative 25 the last time I stepped outside. So things are going well. Range is getting a little bit better. The wind is really howling though and whipping across the interstates up here. But we're trucking along. We'll see you at the next stop. Hopefully that we'll be in a new beautiful state. sunset. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is catching how nice that really is. But the sky is a beautiful orange pink and the sun is just setting right over the back of the mountains over there. It's beautiful. Hello guys and welcome back. I am finally through the long state of New York. Oh my goodness, it was so long. Anyway, I'm now in Erie, Pennsylvania. And the superchargers here happen to be right next to some crack. Well, I mean, crack or barrel. So I'm psyched. See you soon, hey guys. Hey guys, it's me. Been on the road now for 17 hours. And I am now in Strongsville, Ohio. I'm thinking I may do one more leg tonight. Before I call it a night and try out the bed in the back and see how that's gonna work out let me see if I can show you what the bed actually looks like and 
I think the hard part is actually going to be getting into it because you're going to understand the back seats are folded down and then there's a five and a half inch mattress on top of it and there's just not a lot of room to get on top so I'm not really sure how I'm going to get in there yet um, it's probably going to look a little ridiculous but I don't really care as long as it's comfortable and I can just pass out and sleep that'll be fantastic but let me see if I can show you so what you're seeing here is I've got uh, two pillows that those are on top of the mattress got my sleeping bag got some clothes back there um, and that sleeping bag goes all the way back to the back of the trunk and uh, not have a ton of room it's really gonna be hard to get in here I think I might have to climb between the seats I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it but once I'm in there I'm sure it'll be comfortable all right guys well the next time I see you I'll be saying good night this is the last stop for the night I am exhausted I have been up for too many hours now I'm, I'm at the point now where I think think I'm it's around it's almost 19 and a half hours I'm just exhausted I'm gonna get some sleep I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to climb in the back here go to sleep I might sleep about seven or eight hours and then I'm gonna get up in the morning and we'll head back out again to Indiana I am right now well, let's put it this way. If I was one of those Cabbage Patch dolls, you could pull the string on the back. It would say, Mommy, because I'm in Mommy, Ohio, which is pretty close to the border of Indiana and not too far from Toledo. So I made a fairly good distance. The temperatures got a little bit better. Right now we're looking at three degrees Fahrenheit. And let me just check what that is with the uh, wind chill. So it feels like negative five, which is a lot better than the negative 25 it was when I left Vermont. So we'll see what happens. I'm charging the car up again. I'm probably gonna charge it to about 90% or so. And then I'm gonna park it and see how long it lasts after I make the adjustments to the HVAC. And I'm also probably gonna listen to, listen to some music tonight too, and we'll see how long it lasts. And I'll report about that in the morning. Hopefully, it doesn't just quit on me, you know, early on, and then I wake up to bitter, freezing cold temperatures. But we shall see. But let's see what the best settings for the HVAC will be. And I think we're just going to have it. I want to say maybe we'll just do that. Turn this off and this off. Turn this to five. Okay, so if you can see that it's on, so it'll stay on. We've got army. No, uh, got an army circulate. Basically blowing it over the windshield. Hopefully it'll reach the back. That should do it. Now it's just time for me to climb in the back and. Well, see how that's actually going to work. Get in there, get comfy, and bed down for the evening. Alright guys, so this is kind of how it is. It, it feels odd sleeping in the back of the car. My feet are touching the back lid of the trunk. I'm 6'2", so it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Kind of like a surfboard, I suppose. <laughs> oh, got my pillow, my reading lights beautiful night sky and uh, hopefully it should be nice and comfortable as long as the uh, heat stays on. Catch you tomorrow. Good night. Why are you still watching? Good night. Good morning. So there are definitely some kinks to work out. One thing I forgot to mention is I set the temperature to 72 degrees and it had the fan on on five. And when I went to bed last night, the charge was at 279 miles. I kind of woke up this morning feeling cold. Not like freezing, but just chilled. And well, one of the great things that I've, that I've realized is that you can use the phone and, and uh, connect to the car and that essentially 
is your remote to play with the climate control. So if you are cold, you can fix that. So I had the phone here and all I did was, it was about, I went to bed at 1.30, I woke up about five and I was a little chilled. So I went into the climate and right now you see it says 76. But all I did was I bumped that arrow all the way over to high and the fan kicked on and the heat flowed in no time. The, the entire cabin, all the way to the back of the trunk, was toasty warm. Matter of fact, to the point where I was hot. So I had to turn it down. Um, so I think it's just a matter of finding the right temperature. It's gonna keep the whole car warm. Um, and even from five to eight, so three more hours, pretty much running on high. You know, defrost mode essentially full defrost mode you know it only used I'm only down to 202 miles from 279 and when I woke up this morning at 5 and I was cold it had only dropped down to I think it was down to like originally being at 72 all night long I think only lost 50 or so miles of range and in the past three hours, I lost about 20. So yeah, I don't, and, I'm, and last night I stayed close to a supercharger. Actually, I'm still backed into a supercharger spot so that I could plug back in if I ran down to that 20%. Because if you remember in, that, in the notes to that update, it'll run the climate all night or all day down to 20% of battery life and then it will shut off. And I was, that's what I was afraid of. I wasn't sure how much battery life I was actually gonna consume keeping warm. So I think at this point, I need to find that magic number of the temperature so that I just stay warm and the fan isn't like blowing high all night long and it's enough to keep the car warm in the back. I don't think I need to worry about killing the battery. Um, even if I ran it at high all night long, which I don't think anyone could stand. I mean, in just the three hours I ran out of high to warm it up, oh man, it was so hot, too hot. So things are going well. It is, you know, it's a little after eight in the morning. Now I need to go find a place to get all cleaned up and then I'm off to South Bend, Indiana. I hope y'all are enjoying the trip across country in the dead of winter. Until the next episode of Where Am I Now? Let's keep those batteries charged.